Hello YouTube, I hope you're all doing okay. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little different, a smartphone projector. I'm sure a few of you have seen these things on the interwebs, but how easy are they to make and how good is the end result? Just using your smartphone as a light source. Without any further delay, let's get into it by opening the box. Once we have removed all the components that we're going to need to build this thing, you may notice that on the inside of the packaging are all the instructions we're going to need to put this thing together. Now, normally on this channel we don't read the instructions, but this time I think we might need to make a tiny exception to the rule. If you do accidentally throw them out however, there are YouTube videos showing you how to assemble this thing. Taking a look at the contents of the box, we have three distinct parts, the main body, the sliding smartphone holder, and then a bag of the lens assembly and extra bits and bobs. The only extra thing you're going to need to get it up and running is a smartphone and some strong glue. Now let's build this thing. Assembling the projector is really easy following the instructions. It is mostly all labelled tabs and flaps that need sticking together and holding tight while the glue dries. It probably took 15 to 20 minutes to do in total, the most fiddly bit being making the lens assembly. Let's try sticking one hand in size to make it easier while putting the lens on. I use Locket Super Glue, which works fine, however other brands are available. Now complete, I am really impressed with the quality of the design and build of this smartphone projector. Despite being made of cardboard, it really does hold its shape and has a decent quality feel to it. It works quite simply by placing your phone into the back compartment, closing it up and then sliding the compartment back and forth in order to focus the image. I love how there are holes to allow you to plug your phone in into either a power source or a speaker while using the projector. I also love all the artwork on the outside such as fake audio ports, control knobs and focus rings. Being made of cardboard, none of these work but all add to the aesthetics, making it feel more like a real vintage film projector. Image quality and brightness will always be where this projector suffers as it relies on your phone's backlight and screen to do all the work. Firstly, you're going to need to download an app and change some of your settings in order to keep the screen locked upside down, the brightness and volume on max, as well as the image being flipped the wrong way so that when it passes through the lens it is projected correctly. All this is easier said than done. At first I was terribly ambitious and tried to use my own Motorola phone and a studio lighting, however I couldn't see anything at all. After several tests I found that shutting off all other lights including using blackout blinds on the windows as well as using higher quality phones such as the iPhone 5 here, I was getting a better image that was about 3 times bigger than the phone screen from a distance of about 1 metre. I would also add that your eyes do get accustomed to the dark after a while and that connecting your phone into an external speaker adds to the movie experience. So is this product worth buying? Yes, it's a great easy DIY kit that doesn't take too much time to assemble and the results are better than a few of you crowded around a smartphone screen. If you have any questions about this product, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.